Hello and welcome to the EasyRed2 modding SDK setup tutorial. Today you're gonna learn how to set up the modding SDK environment to start creating your own EasyRed2 mods. To simplify the creation of the mods, we're gonna use a specific Unity engine version. So let's start the loading Unity Hub. You'll find the link to the download page in the description of the video. So this is the installation page, we can accept the end user agreement, we can choose the installation folder, and we can start with installation. Once the installation is done, we can start Unity Hub. Then we will need to actually install the correct Unity engine version. So you can go to the link in the description, select Unity 2021.x and search for Unity 2021.3.28, which is the Unity version compatible with Easy Red 2. If you download the wrong Unity version, the mods you're gonna create are probably not gonna be compatible with Easy Red 2. As we have Unity Hub running in our computer, we can click the Unity Hub button. We can now allow your browser to start the Unity Hub, and we're gonna see this download page for the correct Unity version. Before starting the install, make sure to check Linux Build Support IL2 CPP. Mac build support Mono and Window build support IL2 CPP. This is required so your mods will be compatible with all the three platforms. We can now start the install. The process might take a few minutes. Now that Unity is installed correctly, let's move to the Project tab and choose New Project. Make sure to go to Core and select 3D URP. Choosing the wrong template might result in mods not working correctly, so make sure to choose the correct one carefully. We can give a name to the project. I'm gonna call this Test ER2 SDK. We can choose the install folder we want and create our project. The first time we create our project, Unity might take a while to load. Now that we are inside our Unity engine, we can finally do the final step, which is importing our modding SDK. The link to it is of course gonna be in the description. I'm assuming you already downloaded the package and you have it on your computer. To import it, just select Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and choose the package you downloaded from the link in the description. Now import everything we have here, clicking on the Import button in the lower part of this little window. Now, in the Project Folder Explorer, you're gonna see a bunch of new folders. Those folders are the core scripts and resources for the EasyRed2 modding SDK. From here, you will be able to start setting up your props, your weapons, your vehicles, and in general, all of your mods. You're gonna learn how to set up each one of them in their dedicated tutorial videos. For the moment, let's just take a final look to the mod menu, which is the menu you will use to compile and upload your mod to the Steam Workshop. To do so, go on the top and choose Mod Menu, Mod Compiler. As you will see in the next tutorials, with this menu, 
you will be able to set up the name, the description of your mod, and you're gonna be able to compile it and upload it directly into the Steam Workshop. This is all regarding the setting up of the SDK environment. We are now ready to start following the tutorials to create your own mods.